Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to Let's Play of Divinity Dragon Commander, where we last left off. We have people to talk to, so let's do that. Aha! Shush, everyone, shush! Here comes the long-awaited commander. The dragon that would deliver us from vile usurpers. The one deserving heir to Rivalon's throne. Let me cut right to the chase, Commander, for I'm not a man who takes pride in his words, but in his pragmatism, rather. The entire realm is under siege, and the free peoples left need a strong leader. One who inspires. You see, there may be a war going on, Commander, but that doesn't mean you don't have a realm to rule. Oftentimes, Political concerns will take precedence over military ones, no matter how trivial they may sometimes seem in these dark times. As much as possible, where your rule has been established, everyday life must continue like it would in times of peace, and everyday life concerns itself with everyday worries. The people will look to you for guidance in these matters. We, as their representatives, have witnessed your triumphs with mounting awe, and have agreed you are to be the one, the hero, who shall both restore the kingdom and recommence the workings of government. I therefore declare you Emperor. Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor! Okay. Okay, for your various political problems, if you do not make a decision, the majority vote will always carry the motion. Interesting. May the Seven be praised now that we have found our champion and our emperor. May the fire of the dragon obliterate every heretic in its way. May the light of the gods illuminate your soul. I like how much movement is in his mouth, even though he's just bones. The highest. We are the chosen of the Seven, Commander. We are those that have known death have walked its black shores, but then have been restored to life. You think you are alive now, Commander, but you are not. You are but in the phase of flesh. Yet if you are devout and sweat in service of the Seven, you too, after the Dark Mother has lulled you to sleep, may be plucked from the Dales of Shadow and given the perpetuity of the bone. Do well by the gods, Commander, and you'll do well by us, as well as all in the realm. We have many proposals to that effect, which I will bring before you in due time. So say I, Yorick, humble servant of the Seven. Honored to meet you, Commander. I am Oberon, envoy of the Elves, ambassador of the beasts, spokesman of plants, here in the hope that our new Emperor will treat Majestic Rivalon with the reverence she deserves, even in these times of frightful war. Well, Commander, if Elves were the only race to have become what they misnomer civilized, this globe and all upon it would exist in a paradise of such perfection the gods need not create for us a heaven. Such, alas, is the fiction, not the reality. So, Elves are basically narcissistic. Awesome. Others less scrupulous in the handling of natural beauty have risen to prominence. They hack and mine, blast, drain, and use up. As much as we can, we condemn and attempt to stop their misguided endeavors. We are the Green Mother's unwavering paladins, and it is our fondest desire you, Commander, will join our ranks. And basically environmentalists too. Great. Defend nature, and defend the little man, for they will in turn defend you. A happy people, one with the wilds, will fight for its country with redoubled zeal. To that effect, I hope we'll have your backing. And you know, seeing as elves are the majority of the land that I currently own, and undead will eventually, well, the undead will be towards the end. That's something to consider making them happy. Isn't this a world gone topsy turvy? I've declared you emperor, and you don't even know my name. Sir Falstaff Silvervane, Commander. Born and bred neath the Emerald Mountains. There. Now that we've been acquainted, I do declare it's time for a beer. A prouder folk you'll ne'er meet, Commander, nor a more robust one. 
best allies an aspiring king can have, for our love of gold and all things precious is legendary, and gold is what an emperor needs if it be conquest that takes his fancy. So listen when I give advice, for your economy will prosper by it. You know, it's funny, I bet you the dwarves, the dwarf and the elf are basically going to give opposite proposals. <laughs> Liquid gold, of course, is another of our pride and joys. For ale a sparkle, we'd go to war. But our families, above all, Commander, are holy. Those manifold kernels that band together, and like the rings that form a chain mail, shape a society that is stout and steadfast. Yes, dwarven families grow as plenty as the grain on a thousand wheat fields, and just like grain, it is from them that we derive the bread that nourishes civilization and the beer that quenches its thirst. By the powers vested in me by the great lizard lords, I, Prosper, endorse your newfound emperorship. Oh, sorely we are in need of a dragon commander. So, for those of you who saw the commercials for this game, um, they had, I believe, this character model at least, with a completely different voice. So, that's interesting. We are not a people that make great demands, Commander. We simply hold many a thing dear without succumbing to the excess of it. The dwarves revere their gold to such an extent it becomes a fetish. Elves abide so strictly by nature they become her slaves. We like gold, for it is an economical must. We like nature, for she sustains us. Yet none of the two we idolize. Reason and liberty, those are our bywords. Territories we defend valiantly. Territories, alas, easily encroached upon, for emperors tend to curtail them. Our ideal is therefore not a monarchy, but a republic. Think on that, Commander, as you pursue the throne. There we go. A republic. I like republics. Not democracies, republics. Or at least a democratic republic. By Grumio's gadgets, it's a pleasure indeed to shake hands with you, Commander. Your technician is my nephew, don't you know? And I am Trunculo Shortfuse, son of Trunculo Even Shorter Fuse. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> oh. huh. You want gizmos? You want imps. You want the unthinkable? You want imps. You want great, big, loud, bright fire explosions? Lords above, it's imps you want. We live for all that is new and shiny. The old, we blow it up. The new, we study it for a while before we blow it up. Why? Because there's always something even newer waiting around the corner. Science, great dragon, never sits still. Try, investigate, experiment. And with a bit of luck, boom! <laughs> a bigger bang than ever. On a more serious note though, Commander, science is indeed our passion. And we hope that under your rule, we will be free to explore its limits. Damn the gods, for there are none. And damn petty morality, for it is a break on progress. Back us, and we'll craft you miracles. Okay, so that's an interesting stand right there. All clean split between science and religion. As well as morality and religion, or morality and science, apparently, which is very troubling. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do some more techs. Cause I have plenty. I could get the anti-air turret. That's a good idea. Uh, we're gonna get the anti-air. Yeah, it, it'll be relatively important to get that. Uh, we also want enemy units over good. I think I would like that. Oh, it's a ice. Oh, wow. Yes, I think I would like that, but I would 
rather I have some other things as well. Units heavy units buildings. Let's get an armor. Let's get armors. Uh, okay, and let's save that. And let's see if there's anything nice for me. Let's get the uh, rejuvenation. Unless I die, the more effective I'll be. Alright, and back to the strategy map. So let's see, what do they have here? Three hunters, two grenaders, as well as whatever they can build. cards. No. Uh, but we do have more territory. So this gives us three science. And I think the academy generates unit acquisition as well as one research return? I don't have the money for it. But let's see. Interesting, interesting. Okay, they're coming to attack here. I'm guessing. I think we'll have enough to take care of whatever shows up there, but I do need to make sure that this is nice and beefy. Uh, so I'm gonna move, probably save up my gold to buy more war factories and stuff as well. But so, yeah, in turn. Yeah, and they bought a bunch of units. Oh my gosh! Oh, and playing cards too. Well, that's lovely. Uh, grenaders. Is... They actually have a lot of grenaders. resolve I don't want to do so I guess I'll have to hope that I'm actually good enough to do this it's passive I can just bring it down here there's no point in having passive abilities in there but why not let's hope I can do this But yeah, it's basically a game of rushing them before they have a chance to really do anything more. Oh, and this is like the exact same map, which is great. Over there. Guys, come on down here. Construction 
I think troopers can capture. If not, I, I want to make sure we capture uh, this area. Come on, a little more recruits. Actually, I think we'll be good. you construction in progress is that a tree well not anymore This is the recruitment. Wait, is there a recruitment here? Maybe there isn't. On the trail. Construction underway, Commander. Construction in progress. No time for tests. Treatments quicker. Construction in progress. Come on. Ah, oh, they just totally wrecked that shaman. What? Did something. Did they seriously just like turn that against me? Now then, we need to buy more units. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. Hunters off the leash. They'll be hit by the man with Alar soon. Walking fear pit, reporting for duty. Oh, we're capturing that? Is that how that works? Dude, 
So yeah, this is all a game about rushing and going quickly. Look at them fireballs going up. Got one more recruitment citadel? Okay. Ah! What's hitting me? Oh, we got an anti-air. Oh, these shamans can heal me too? Oh, that is sick! Ha <laughs> ha, that is sick! Okay, so that's... Makes a little bit more sense. You just gotta rush, and the thing is, I, I'm not... When it comes to real-time strategies, I'm not a rusher. I am a boomer or something else. Sneer, seer. Okay. Also, accidentally invents armored vehicle. Really? Okay, uh, and you know what? I'm going to cut the video off here. So thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.